Okay, so today I was just uh, washing my helmet. So I thought, since it's fully opened up, I can show you and give you an idea of how a Sol helmet looks from inside and how is my ownership experience with it. So here we go. So to start with it. Uh, well, this is how uh, how the shell looks like. This is my action cam mount. This is the Bluetooth receiver or phone thing. And this is how the shell looks from inside. And this is quite thick, you can say. If if I measure the sides of it, it's this thick. Well, not to go on thickness, this is quite sturdy and uh, hard, you can say. And inside it is this. Well, this is the thing I like about the helmet, if I can say. Well, here you can see. So it's some kind of mesh which helps in proper ventilation. Although I'll tell about the ventilation part later, but uh, the thing is, uh, these kind of padding is more of uh, more hair friendly, you can say, just like this. Everything is cottony material, and even the chin strap. Well, excuse this fur because this is for noise reduction. Well, I mean noise reduction for the mic when I'm speaking so that it doesn't air doesn't disturb the mic from there So apart from these cotton materials uh, which help in ventilation the mesh thing this one has one two three four five six seven seven inlet vents Well, I should count six because the chin one is should be counted one seven eight sorry seven eight the outlet vents and nine ten ten out ten vents all together four outlet and six inlet well even after having this much of ventilation this helmet still sucks in ventilating i mean it's good ventilation but uh, you know what you'll still be sweating out and in stop go traffic it can be really little irritating not really but uh, not much but little irritating in comparison to this I'll show you one more helmet well in comparison to this this is an LS2 FF302 well it's a pretty good looking helmet this was the helmet before i crashed well this helmet saved me from a huge crash which i'll be talking in my next video um and above 150 of speeds just this happened nothing else well, you'll know the exact speed in the other vlogs, the next vlog. But this helmet served well. I'm not wearing this helmet because it has already sustained a crash. I just use it for daily market, ghoom ke aana, sabzi lane ke kaam ke cheeze. But uh, if it's for riding, then I don't think using a crashed helmet is a good idea it's better to get a new one so that's why this came the only reason this came is because I get each and every spare parts for this from starting from cheek pads to the chin curtain to this thing as well as the visors yes I don't have the clear visor as of now because the clear visor was taken my by my brother uh, this is a blue chrome visor which I use on a daily basis 
and this is a smoked visor which was being used by me previously before having this I just use this because this looks kick ass and secondly this one has a good night visibility I mean it kind of uh, is a yellowish brown shade if you look from inside I don't know if you will get an idea okay so this is the light source and this is the visor from the visor so yeah this will be perfect so you can see the tint isn't much but the tint is kind of brownish uh, thing so it really brownish yellowish thing you can say so it really doesn't matter that much uh, while riding in the city but mind you it is only good in the city here's the another look at the tent so you can see it's not that much so in case of city riding it's good but when it goes to highway riding in pitch dark even your headlights won't do the job you still have to get a clear visor and if you want to see how the smoked visor looks here is a, another look yeah so you can see it has got a few scratches so the smoked visor has better visibility than the blue visor because the tint on that is even lower you even get a lighter smoke tint in that Sol has a good range of uh, what should I say tint uh, visor tint colors and everything but just the two things which I don't like about the helmet is one being the ventilation well if you are an old user of Sol you must be familiar that ventilation was really good on this helmet and this used to be quite heavy well one good news is this is light now very light it's like 1300 1320 grams or something another thing which uh, went bad is the ventilation because previously the ventilation on this helmet was spot on it was beautiful you you will feel like you have a ac on the helmet but that's not the case which is too good in this helmet if you even open the uh, upper vents and you crouch down the hell uh, crouch 2000 years later the in the on the bike then you can literally feel air going inside these uh, vents and blowing your hair or something it's that good uh, the ventilation on this helmet so why didn't i get this helmet because the spare part availability is a little issue you will get the visors and stuff but uh, when it comes to base plates base plates meaning these uh, and other stuff you can't get much of the spare parts in this, this helmet and if you ask me then a daily use helmet should be like that uh, which should protect you at good speeds plus you should have the spare parts availability most of the helmet manufacturers here they just uh, provide what should i say the visors in the name of spare parts so if you're taking a helmet new helmet then make sure you ask the uh, seller that if the spare parts availability spare parts meaning everything from the cheek pads to chin curtains to the base plates everything if everything is possible that means the spare part availability is good yeah with the ventilation this helmet is quite noisy the sol uh, this helmet in comparison was way too silent than that and apart from the ventilation and the wind noise this helmet is good i got this helmet for like uh, 6400 bucks 6500 bucks from Delhi Karul Bagh if you are from Delhi you know Chopra uncle you can get your helmet from him uh, he I got a fully sealed box and I took this helmet out and I was like I'm crazy for this color so I just tried it on it fit me well so I was like I should go ahead and 
the problem which I had in this helmet was the paddings and everything was is of synthetic type like empty and all but by uh, I real am really concerned about my hair and I needed a cottonish material kind of thing which Saul gave me. So I'm quite happy with Saul. If you want a new helmet don't just go to any link and purchase it. Just go to a local shop. Try the helmet out whichever helmet suits you better because the fit in this helmet is quite good enough for me but the fit in this helmet was uh, like it was good on the cheeks like it was good good here but uh, it was quite loose over the back of the head or something i mean not loose but it was quite roomy which i didn't like if you are wearing a helmet it should be snug completely snug it's not meant for comfort it's meant for protection and protection comes from snug fit so if you if the helmet fits you go ahead take it <coughs> the, if you want to know the visor cost this one was like uh, 900 bucks 990 or 1000 bucks you can say and this one i got for around 700 750 bucks so yeah the difference is pricing because this helmet i took from chopra uncle itself uh, from Delhi when I was taking the helmet this one I got it later on from Pune so you can check them out and let me know in the comments below if you want to know anything else about the helmet and the ownership review anything else if you want to know okay so another thing which many people uh, believe the Sol's shell is really weak well these things might feel a little weak you can't see it doesn't compress or something but these things are detachable if you look closely i'll just uh, focus it uh, focus this thing yeah these things this thing is detachable so in the event of crash it doesn't break off it gets off you can reapply it again and if you want to see the strength of the shell from down below I don't know what people call it fashionably but this thing ain't soft either let me see okay okay another thing I forgot to add if you're wondering uh, what should you really use to uh, clean the helmets like uh, the cheek pads or something all of these so you should use this now don't ask me the links for this just go to your bagal ka dukan and buy it it's easily available 